Deep Orange is a specialty car project at the Clemson University's International Center for Automotive Research. Dr. Robert Peruca is a professor leading this project. Deep Orange is an edu educational framework where we design and build prototype cars, but really what we're doing is educating students how to build the next generation of vehicles for the automotive industry. Bhavya Mishra is one of those engineers. There are a lot of master's programs out there, but not all of them give you a chance to see the vehicle development as a whole, from the design phase to the testing phase. I really wanted to be a part of a thing that, can I, that I can actually call mine from start to end. So for Deep Orange, we actually start out with a customer and we analyze everything that they would like about what they do in their lives, what the vehicle needs to do for them, and we come up with vehicle functions. Those functions ultimately turn into design features in the vehicle. And so we're always looking back at what the customer wants out of the vehicle and we design around that. An automobile is a, is a large group of trade-offs and there's no perfect car. The perfect car has never been built in, in the history of the world. Uh, so we really work a lot on, on managing the trade-offs. On Deep Orange 9, we're building a race car and our audience is really millennials. So we're trying to make uh, small, uh, high horsepower cars exciting, but they're also green. Uh, and then we're also trying to pitch to the millennials that are very tech savvy and they're interested in new technologies being in vehicles. The idea of a new technology is not to train the people how to use it, but to fill a need and uh, to be able to give people something that they already know how to use and they actually want to use. So that's what Deep Orange does. Brendo Shavamba is a PhD student in automotive research that works on the Deep Orange 7 vehicle, both the interior and the powertrain team. Our users, they wanted more interior space uh, and more storage space, but without, in ma without making the car bigger. So the powertrain team had the challenge on how can we do that? And the outcome of one of the, one of the outcomes of our ideation process was uh, what we call the rocker cooling concept. So basically this replaces the radiator in front of the car that can take up a lot of space. So we took advantage of unused spaces on the structures on the side seals of the cars, both of the left and right, to use as heat exchangers for the electric motors. At iCar, the students also learn how to test their innovations using simulators before they create them in reality. Dr. John L. Brooks is a human factor psychologist who studies the capabilities and limitations of drivers. What we're going to show you today is a computer simulation of the vehicle that we built. The Deep Orange 7 team built a fully functional driving vehicle, but because we needed to have multiple vehicles to show this feature, that's why we made it in the driving simulator rather than realizing it or being able to show it on the actual vehicle that the students built. And the reason for having this is there are a lot of crashes in parking lots where drivers bump the car in front of them. And this is just a way to not only help the driver of the Mini, but also to help the other drivers. The Deep Orange Project is very popular because we work with automotive companies all over the world in the effort to educate the next generation of engineers. 